first chapter. Lesson number four. The basic parameters of your show, part three. See the last tab of window show option, the soundtrack tab. To select it, click in the gray area below the title of the tab or on a file when there is one. The edit box contains six inserts. The first displays your soundtrack in its analog form, as in the timeline or the editing windows. This allows you to see the intensity of your soundtrack and the shortest time, allowing you to synchronize your slide with music. This insert also includes two control buttons, Preview, open the file in an internal player, and play it. Editor, allows you to edit your audio track in an external program. Below on the left, you have the insert, track setting. It allows you to edit track by track, the sound level, fade effects at the beginning and end, the mixing timer waiting between two sound tracks, and an order opening editing window for fades and duration of your track. Just below, the insert soundtrack tools. It consists of three special commands. The first allows you to take a soundtrack directly from an audio disc. The second is an interactive control, allows you to synchronize the time with respect to levels of music. And finally, the third, automatically put the length of your show to the length of the soundtrack. Right, the first insert. The master volume allows you to settle the noise level of your show. It acts on all soundtrack at the same time and allows you to reduce or boost the global level. This can be very useful because you will notice that this command to settle the volume from 0 to 200%. If you have a soundtrack of low intensity, you cannot increase the volume and it's individually controlled. But with this command, you can bring up to an optimal level, and reduce up independently from other soundtracks in their individual trainings. We will see this in detail later. Just below, you insert, default for slide sounds. Each slide can contain separate audio tracks or video also contains an audio track. This insert allows you to be paid their default sound levels, as well as their time to fade. Of course, you can always adjust its values sound by sound, using the same command to them. We also see it further. Finally, the last insert, soundtrack during slide sounds. This command allows you to automatically reduce the noise level of your main track for a sound or audio track in a slide. This command acts as a table DJ. When he speaks, the music level is automatically reduced, and returns to its normal level when he finished speaking too. We will see all these commands further, in a lesson dedicated to the soundtrack in your show. Now see how to add a soundtrack. To do this, right next to the name of the tab, you have three control. The plus to add a file, D, to simply remove the selected file, and both up and down arrows to move the selected file in the playlist. Select the plus and click it. In the context menu that opens, choose, add sound file. An explorer file window opens. Select the file you want. ProShot accept many different audio formats, such as MP3, WAV, Moderates, and others. Click Open to insert your file in your show. In Show Window option, you may find that your audio track has been added. His name appears in the list and is the only file at the moment. It is automatically selected and highlighted in blue. In the Preview window, you see the file in its analogy form. You can listen by clicking on the command Preview. It will open an integrated ProShot player. Click the arrow to start playback. It turns into a double bar to pause. Click on square to stop playback, and done to leave this player. In the inset, track setting, you can tune the sound level of your track with the command, volume. As a majority of ProShot commands, you can perform the trimming with the cursor, using the arrow keys to refine placed on either side of it, or, alternatively, to enter directly the valuing just the digital box to the right. 
both commands fade in and fade out, you permit and achieve a fade to the sound at the beginning and end of it. We'll see with the edit fades and timing. The offset command to determine when compared with the end of the previous track, this track is starting. If the time is negative, it begin much time before the end of the preceding track, and thus, will be mixed with it. If it positive, there will be a wide equivalent time between the previous track and it. Here the time is expressed in seconds. The edit fades and timing allows you to open a more comprehensive editing window. Click it to open it. In this window, you view analog your file with a timeline. Just below the standard playback controls, pause and stop, followed by two commands allow you to cut your file on beginning or end in the current location of the routing. In the control window, you have two sliders for the overview, zoom and position of the zoom view. Below left, you have the source file name. It included the location on your computer and the length of the file. Right, there are four commands control file. Both start and end controls allow you to select the part of the file you want to use. You can either directly enter the time valuing numeric fields or through the upper two sliders, wide arrows by clicking on them and moving. In digital spaces, times are expressed in seconds and thousandths of seconds. To the right of each of them, you have an anti-clockwise arrow, if you click on it, your time will be reset to its original value. Both controls fade in and fade out, to determine the fade time of the file. It, the time it is going to go for volume 0, the initial volume for the fading, and reverse for the fade out. You can enter the value in the digital box, or the determination by the two sliders under the preview window. Looks like it has a square box and color gradient from black to white. Once all your values parametries, click OK to apply and exit the editor, or chancel to quick without making changes it included, and return to trimming before. The insert track setting indicates the new fade time of the file. Other times, they start and end, can be changed only thanks to the publisher. You also see new analog shape of your file in the preview window, and his new len. Let us, for the moment, the trimming of the master volume to its original value, or 100%. And all the trimmings on the volume of sound slide. We see it further lessen during the insertion of other audio file in your show. Click OK to apply all changes to your show, and return to the main display window. For check our changes, insert a blank slide. To do so, either click directly on the icon, add blank, or you made a right click in the slide list, on the side of the first slide, select to insert, then, blank slide. Your first mounting bracket, or slide is added to the list. Original, the slide time is 3 seconds and is followed by a 3 second fading also. Now a slide is selected, the preview window displays your show. Click play, the arrow to the right to play it. Systematically, save your show after every noticeable changes. Click save to do this, it will save you a lot of trouble in case of error or crash the program. The main audio track is very important for your show. It is often the backbone, and its thread. Music must be carefully chosen to stick as much as possible to your theme. This concluded the first chapter. In the next chapter, we will see different type of files supported or generated by the program ProSha producer. Thank you for your attention.